Hi everyone, Hiko here, and in today's video, I'm going to test out the new Incursion Scarab. Incursion Scarab of Timelines. And I'm going to run 60 jungle valleys, but we are probably going to need more. And it's. I will try to make this as short as possible, and yeah, hopefully, you all will understand how these Scarabs work because it's a little bit more complex than it might seem. So, uh, here is the Atlas 3. Quickly, you just need to pick off. To pick pretty much all the alva nodes and you are good to go just make sure your maps contain alva you have this modifier on your atlas tree and you have artifacts of the wall um, resource reallocation and contest development and you are good to go to farm alva everything else is pretty much optional right now i tested this scarab a bit i did like six or seven maps just to know how the scarab is so i can explain to you all and here are pretty interesting some notes that I found that you should keep in mind. Sometimes you might need to unspec a node on the Atlas tree. Now here you can see I have nine incursions remaining, right? But I use this artifact of the Val node, which means that we have four incursions per map. That means in three maps we get a temp, right? So let's say on the fourth incursion in your first map, if you get locus of corruption. Like we have in this example, that would mean here you will have eight incursions remaining. Then you want to unspec the node, so your next map will have only three incursions. So you can use the scare up three times instead of only twice. I hope that makes sense. But if you do the strat, you will know what I mean. Also, keep in mind that you have to unlock uh, doors, which is not something that I'm known for. Because usually when I have farm alva, I just unlock the room if it's only tier 3. Also, another important thing is to know that the scarab with the current price might be worth only using when you have corruption chamber rooms. Because the locus of corruption is 130 chaos, the Dorianis Institute is 50 chaos. Also, keep in mind that the scarab is not worth, I mean, you should not use it on every map. For example, if here I wouldn't have like corruption chamber, I wouldn't start this map with the scarab. I would just do my alva, get the corruption chamber going, and then after I know that I have one for sure, I will insert the scarab. Because the scarab is like, well, 13 chaos maybe. I bought them in bulk, so I bought 50 for like 5 divines. And I will do the 50 scarabs, it will take more than. 60 maps i'm quite sure about it but i will put on a timer and i will throw the temples in a tab right here and i'll see you guys in a bit with the results i think this is going to be rather interesting
All right, so I finished the test and here are the results. Well, pretty much this is all the loot unsorted. And here are the temples that we got. We got 20 locks of corruption temples. We got 12 Doriani temples and we got 8 Locus and Dorianis Institute temples uh, in one chronicle pretty much. And here is the pile of shit uh, as in 23 temples that have no good rooms, you know. And also we got the corpse. This is worth around 300 chaos, 350, but I didn't include it into the results. Also, Excellence, uh, or how you pronounce this, uh, is apparently working. I had no idea. And it says that we have from these three tabs, we have around uh, 15 divine words of value, or that's like 2300 chaos. But I also made this spreadsheet to make it like a short version of the results. Here are the number of temples, how much one of them goes for, and this is how much chaos we got just in temples alone. Here is the cost. Uh, I paid 5 thieves for like 50 scarabs. And maps, uh, I got them for free because I farm a lot of jungly valleys, but for the sake of the video, let's just say we paid like 350 for them and we get like around 1000 chaos cost. The loot 2000 is from a this right here and i think it's actually slightly more because as you can see you cannot even find like the abomination map and we dropped like quite a few of those maybe like three four five something so maybe the the divines per hour is slightly bigger uh, a bigger number you name it but i'm quite happy with it almost 12 divines per hour maybe more close to like 15 if we really include anything everything because i don't think this like counts the maps that we also drop as in the conqueror maps shaper and elder maps but yeah it took me three hours we do a quick divide and you get 12 divines per hour honestly pretty surprising you get so many temples i think this will get nerfed also i was expecting the temple prices to go up but Knowing this scarab is in the game, it will, it will, they will most likely go down, in my opinion, if people want to farm this, of course. Also, for some reason, uh, the area level seems to be quite random on those temples. I don't know why. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But oh well. That was it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my content. Also, if you have any questions down below in the comments, let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.